Well, praise the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. This day, I'd like to encourage you to keep on listening to the Daily Dose and continue to listen to the Daily Dose and continue sharing it with everyone whom you know that will be able to be blessed by it. Share it with your friends, with your family members, with your relatives. Let them receive the word of God to help them. Today, I'd like to encourage you from the book of Galatians chapter number 3. Galatians chapter number 3 verses 13 and verses 14. And it says this. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, having become a curse for us, for it is written, Cursed is everyone who hangs on the tree, that the blessing of Abraham might come upon the Gentiles in Christ Jesus, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. Now here we are being told that Christ has redeemed us. Now we've got to understand that Christ is not the last name of Jesus, but that is the deity of Jesus. In other words, Christ is the Messiah, is the anointed one and his anointing. So the Messiah has redeemed us. To redeem simply means to buy us back at a price to himself. In other words, we first belong to him, but we were bought into slavery. And when we were bought into slavery, he goes into the slave market and he picks you out and pays the price for your freedom. Therefore, we are being told the Messiah has purchased us back again to himself from the curse of the law. In other words, it means the curse of the law bought us to himself. And now the curse of the law brought us to himself and now we became a servant or a slave to the curse of the law. But thanks be to God because the Messiah Christ, the anointed one, came and brought us out of the slavery market of the curse of the law. Now, the price for a slave is usually set up high. And the price for us particularly was the blood that has not been contaminated with sin. Because the penalty of sin is death. And if the penalty of sin is death, then Christ paid the price for sin, which is himself dying by giving up his blood. We know that there is life in the blood. And so when he shed his blood, he gave up his life for you. That's why he has purchased you with his own blood. He has bought you out of the curse of the law. Now, what is the curse of the law? If you read Deuteronomy chapter 28, the curse of the law constitutes of spiritual death. It constitutes constitute of poverty. And it also constitutes of sickness and disease. And therefore, when we were bought into the curse of the law, we were bought into spiritual death. In other words, we were not spiritually alive to God, our creator. We were dead spiritually. Number one. Number two, we were bought into poverty. In other words, now we could not walk into riches. We could not walk into prosperity. Why? Because the curse has come. A curse is simply something that is released to hinder you from doing what you're supposed to do. So when the curse came into the earth as a result of sin, we were brought into spiritual death and we were brought, brought into lack. That is poverty. And the next thing that we were brought into was also sickness and disease. But when Christ purchased us from the curse of the law, he brought us out of spiritual death. Now we are alive spiritually. He brought us out of poverty. Now he has made us rich. And he brought us out of sickness and disease. Now we are walking in health and healing. That's why he's saying, Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, having become a curse for us, for it is written, cursed is everyone who hangs on the tree. So why did he do that? Verses 14, that the blessing of Abraham might come upon the Gentile. You see, the blessing is a word that have been, is an empowerment to cause you to do what you have been created to do. So the curse is hindering you from doing what you have been called to do, but the blessing is empowering you to do what you have been created to do. So Christ purchased us so that we can be empowered to do what God has called us to do, which is the blessing of Abraham might come upon us in Christ Jesus that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. So I'd like to encourage you today to understand, don't allow the curse to be upon you. 
because you have been purchased from the curse by the blood of Jesus. You are no longer spiritually blind, you are spiritually alert. You are no longer poor, you are rich through Christ Jesus. You are no longer sick, you have been made well. So now you need to be strong in your position that you have been purchased in. Get rid of every condemnation. Get rid of every guilt that might be on your mind. Get rid of every shame that might be on your mind. Why? Because Jesus Christ despised the shame for the joy that was set before him. He endured the cross. When he went to the cross, he said, it is finished. In other words, I'll pay the price for you to come out of the curse of the law. Now you belong to the blessing and you have received the promise of faith by the spirit of the living God. Now live as a child of God in victory, knowing that you have been purchased with the precious blood of the Lamb, and now you walk in health and healing, you walk in prosperity, and you are spiritually alert because the Spirit of God now dwells inside of you. Stay blessed and have a wonderful time.